Hello, and welcome to my dining room. On this episode of Coffee with Chuck, I'm really pleased to highlight Melvin Nolting, who is a senior at Topeka High School in the Topeka High JAG K program, who visited with our JAG K Board of Directors at their September 15th, 2020 annual meeting. Mel talked a little bit about his experience with JAG K, and then the board interacted with Mel about his future plans, gave him some advice, and I thought it was a really cool session. So I wanted to share that with all of you and publicly thank Mel for participating in our annual meeting. So as Chuck just indicated today, we have a special guest from Topeka High, Melvin Nolting, and I'm hoping Chuck, maybe you can introduce him um, to the group. I would love to. Love I, to. I had the, uh, yeah. the great fortune of having lunch with Mel today. He is a senior at Topeka High School, has been in JAG K for a number of years, in fact, in at least two different schools. So he has great experience within the program. This young man has really, uh, I don't know if blossomed is the appropriate word, but, but you can certainly tell that Jag K has had an impact on his life and we're certainly thrilled to have him in our state headquarters today. He's in the office adjacent to me and without further ado, Mel, welcome. Well, my name is Melvin. Um, before I started Jag, I was, I tend to live in my emotions and I never really had an idea of what I wanted to do with myself, but I know what I didn't want to do. Then I finally had decided I wanted to join JAG as I seen it was a popular class and many of my friends and family were in the class and it seemed as an easy class and any student would want to, what student wouldn't want to pass up an easy class. But I, when I joined, I didn't acknowledge the efficacy of what JAG offered, even with my wonderful teacher, Ms. Canty, I'd offer at the beginning, but because I was such so introverted and I tend to listen more than I speak. But as, as time goes by and my teacher, her warming personality began to slowly bring it up out of me. And I slowly began to realize that my life had more purpose than what I thought of myself. So that from then on, I started dis deciding actually what I wanted to do with myself in terms of occupation wise and going to school. I started teaching, treating others with more courtesy and just having just the general desire to make the world a better place with starting with the people around me and the people I could speak to. From then on, I kind of just, I've always felt, JAG has made a, I can't really speak to more on what has JAG has did for me exactly, but I know it's changed my whole persona and character as a person. I began to be feel more sophisticated and, and mature before I was very, Ah, man, I was not the very best student, but JAG is it, JAG is a foundation that is can change your whole life around if you if you apply the effort because what what it offers with the education opportunities, all you have to do is apply yourself and it will send you off in life to where you want to be wherever you choose to be. It's it's a blessing, like I said, and. I don't, I, I don't know much more I could say, but I feel like there's more I could say, but I'm kind of, this is my first time, I'm like, I'm kind of, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bottled up, I'm kind of all over the place, but. Yeah, Mel, just, thank you so much, I, we so appreciate you being here, and I know this is such a surreal <laughs> experience, speaking to a bunch of people you don't know, and all you see are their faces in little boxes, but <laughs> we so appreciate you sharing your story. Um, I just have a question for you and other um, board members may as well. What are you thinking you want to do after you graduate? Um, honestly, I either want to become a psychologist or a lawyer because I want to, I'm probably more of a psychologist as it's something more, it's my character, what I desire to do for other people. I like to help people and I like to learn more about the mind, but a lawyer is something that I would choose to desire as something for other people as it's some it's a position of power that holds you have it's a position it's occupation that holds power over some other many many other people's lives and that's something that can be 
fumbled and put in the wrong hands and played with we and somebody not in that right position can be playing with somebody's life and you know I want to I want to be the one to uh, help prevent that and help and allow people to have the opportunity to change their lives around with with honest genuine education and knowledge to do what's right and help others. If there's anything, if there, if anybody has any more questions, I'm open. I'm always open. Anybody have any more questions for Mel? Mel, I, I will just say that for, I will speak on behalf of Jennifer, Mike, myself, and any other lawyers on the phone. We would, we would encourage you to go the psychology route. <laughs> <laughs> what's, well, what's your what's your opinion on law school? Do you, do you believe it's uh, it's worth it? I'll let Mike or Jennifer answer that. What do you guys think? So I I don't I, I mean if you if that's what you choose to do it's actually no honestly the education was amazing um, and actually I work in house at a, a corporation so that's a totally different route than practicing um, in a law firm but I actually did that for a long time. And so, and I work for the court. So you get a lot of great experience and it does teach you amazing research and writing skills. Um, so I would, even if you didn't want to practice ever in your life, the education part of it is unmatched. It's amazing. Uh, there's part, there's, there's I'm different trade, like difference in between like these two part of me where I kind of want to be able to help and motivate the most amount of people I can to have, a, to shoot for a better life. But then again, there's this part of me that kind of just wants to do an op occupation where I feel comfortable at all times. Just do, feel comfortable making money and going to work every day and seeing seeing my patients or clients to just to have a general bond with either different men and women or students or it's it's a psychologist's occupation that I would love to do. This is this is Alan. I'm also. A lawyer, I'm hesitant to admit it, but I keep my license current. Uh, I'd say, Mel, just keep your mind up. Keep asking questions and talk to folks. Sometimes being a lawyer and a psychologist are the same thing. Um, not technically, I suppose, but um, I, I, and yeah, you were, you were wandering, you were not wandering at all, frankly, not as most, as most people do in all these Zoom calls. So you, did terrific. Another great testimony to the great value of, of Jag K. So thank you for seeing I, I, I didn't I didn't want to talk to anybody's ear off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so but honestly I I if I can, I plan to stay with Jag for years on, even probably possibly high, past high school. If they continue to bring the opportunities to me, I would have I would love and feel so enthusiastic to be able to just to be a part of the corporation just to be able to meet new people and help and just educate and get educated myself. You know, this is Kevin Mike, and uh, I really appreciate you sharing your story and your aspirations. I'm not a lawyer. I have a son that's in his third year of law school. And I think uh, I'd refer this to the, the other lawyers on the line, Aaron and Jennifer and Alan, but the nice thing particularly today is it seemed like years ago it used to be if you're going to be a lawyer you would have done political science or something but it seems like the legal profession it touches every occupation so you mentioned counseling and you mentioned law you can pursue both of those in your undergraduate um, and honestly take whatever you do in your undergraduate and there's a place for that in law is, is what I understand from my son's experience uh, who was a I think a marketing major, but actually is doing his work um, for the most part in public service, doing the same kind of things, advocacy, the things that, that you're actually talking about, whether you do that advocacy through counseling or whether you do it through the law profession. So the nice thing is, is you can always bolt on, to me it seems like, uh, a law degree on top of what, what you prepared yourself for as well. Mm -hmm. and, and so I don't know, Jennifer, or Aaron, or Alan, if you'd, you'd agree with that, but that's not a lawyer myself, just my learnings from watching my son go through. 
That's yeah, nice. actually, Kevin, interestingly enough, my biology, my major is in human biology. I had nothing to do with political science or anything like that when I was in undergrad. So absolutely, you can build anything on top of it. And now I'm in the insurance industry. So my human biology background helps in my law career now. So yeah, and maybe I'm looking at Mike. Mike O'Neill actually did practice law. <laughs> <laughs> There are lots of things you can do with a law degree. Uh, honestly, the biggest downside to me is three years, as opposed to two years getting a master's or a year and a half. But hey, when you're 23 years old, it's a year. Uh, now that I look back on it, um, I'm glad I, I'm definitely glad I have the law degree and use it virtually every day in some way, whether it's thinking or even technical about reading a statute or rule or something else. And, we're arguing with my wife about taking both sides of every issue. The, the best advice I got, because um, I knew I wanted to go to law school as soon as I went to undergraduate school, but I, you know, I thought I would load up on pre-law stuff and that sort of thing. And the best advice I got is to not do that and actually get the broadest based education I possibly could. I ended up being an English major, which meant I read a lot of literature just just prolific reading and that really served me well and and you know whether you go to law school or not I just I just uh, recommend that you get a real broad-based liberal arts education uh, at the undergraduate level and and then uh, pick your uh, pick the career that you uh, that really inspires you mm -hmm. another side occupation or I would I wouldn't really call it a side occupation or something I desire to do is possibly become a financial advisor or a stockbroker too. Uh, I had a family member who introduced me to me what it was, and I kind of just got the point of what the position does and what it does and what it can earn from the jump. And honestly, I told myself, I was like, shoot, if it's something I've always told myself is you can do anything you put your mind to. Anybody can. And, and I mean, anybody. If you want to do it, you can do it. And honestly, I've never really been the best with numbers or but I do have a good understanding of cause and effect and being a stockbroker I had the the I had the first introduced to me and then from then on I started I had this teacher who came to me I didn't come to him he came to me I started I began reading a newspaper and he just asked me one day if I was interested in learning about the stock market and I told him I was all years and ready to learn and then from then on I started I started just kind of taking in this, the knowledge on the side I haven't really put my my will or my actions or placing my money or putting too much of my time like I want but it's something in the future that I'm on I for sure will possibly come back to and pursue in it before I before I retire that's great yeah Mel thank you so much it was so great for you to come and chat with us and Thanks for having the courage to talk to a bunch of people you've never met about your life story. And um, we wish you all the best. And I will also plug, if you ever need um, a reference letter or career advice or anything, this is a great group of people right here that work at a lot of different companies around um, the state of Kansas and elsewhere. So, um, you know, you let Bev and Cluck and others know how we can help. I appreciate it dearly, very dearly. It was wonderful to meet all you guys. Great to meet you. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks Thank you. Nice to meet you.